Hello everyone. Welcome you all to my yet another video and this is the video I have made a personalized web based tracker of Lubbabba 450 DSA cracker list and I found that this Lubbabba 450 DSA cracker would be help for many year purpose for because this is very intuitive for designing uh, for practicing DSA and overcome for the placement and the few the future interview purpose I personally love the tracker or uh, love the tracker and I that's why I made it and the questions by love bubber uh, sir by love bubber sir the each and every topics it covers the 15 topics of DSA and it is uh, it is a collection of curated most curated questions so far that's mean if a student or a working professional or any person who is keen to do keen to do uh, coding or doing programming or uh, he want he or she wants to build the foundation more strong in data structures and algorithm i found that this tracker would help him to solve those 450 and more future questions i personally believe that this 450 DSA cracker helps you to build your confidence in solving any coding related questions and helps you to prepare for the placements. And data structures and algorithms are used to test the analytical skills of the candidates as they are useful tool to pick out the underlying algorithms to solve any real world problems and solve them in an effective way. And that's why I made it and i was very much influenced by seeing by watching the love bubber 450 tracker uh, list and from from then and then i thought of building a personalized web based tracker and i uh, kind of made it and this will help many are my juniors and any other professional uh, working profession and any my batchmates and colleagues etc so without talking too much let's jump right in you can see this is my application and this is the app component the main app component from where the app is getting started you can see this is my custom books and <coughs> sorry and uh, this is my route section and this is the wraps i have segregated the projects into the different folders and made it uh, with very intuitive way and this my application have no database in it it is using the browser's real time index db i will show you it doesn't contain any database um, you can see the source folder i have a back backend the context the hooks reducer and the routes you can see the routes have the all the different routes which i will be needed for the application this is my reducer section hooks and the context and this is my app component you can see for the backend purpose i have segregated three different modules the database store the db store is basically the seeded data which are the curated questions chosen by uh, lababar sir the model and the database the logics the services section the model is generally the interface of my database schema or my document you can say uh, i have the questions data with the topic name Posis uh, position is the index number if i have started those module like i if i am starting this array module array module if i have started or not this represents the boolean value the done questions how how many questions i have completed so far and the question section the questions have this topic problem name if i have done or not and the url the gfg link or any lead code link so far and um, the backend section is completed and when i go into my app.tsx component you can see this is my custom hooks and this custom hooks <coughs> uses the question data set questions and the update data function and this is the use effect component to get the data from the database oh let's see i have show you my database.ts section i just use the index db features by using the local base module the insert data function the get data 
and I have to find the document by key and the update document state. This is more likely using a Firebase, but I am not using the Firebase. I use the index DB, no less, no schema based database for my app. <coughs> This is the provider section. I have injecting the questions data and the updates and the update function. This is my route section and backend section is ready. And this is my components. The question topic card. The topic card are this. So without talking too much from the code base, let's see how the apps work. You can see if I go to my application tab, and you can see I have uh, created a database DB and this is the all the questions uh, this is my actual schema or actual database and if i delete my database and i have no database and you can see in console in action you can see i have loading the data and the data is fetched and when i refresh the page the data is loaded i don't need to restart it just fetches the collection from my uh, index so you can see this is the all the 15 modules made by uh, all the 15 modules uh, made by Mr. Labber sir and I just segregated with a uh, like syllabus like book in our college in our, our schools there are array topics matrix string search and I have made a card a topic card for each of these modules and when I click <coughs> array you can see there are the total 36 questions listed and the status is incomplete if i have completed the first question let's say reverse the array i have completed you can see you have completed one out of 36 questions and let's say i have completed or two and three questions also and when i <coughs> refresh the page you can see the data is persistent and go here you can see a little bit a tracker I have completed the four questions that means 36 minus 4 is 32 32 questions are more to go I have started the array module and I have start solving I and I completed the 11 percent of the total 100 percent module let's say I have uh, started also the matrix module and because this have the least number of questions I let's say tick each and everything that means I have completed the whole module 100 percent same person you can see you have completed 10 out of 10 questions topics and i have finished the module and my data is persistent if i want to search any question let's say spiral <coughs> and you have this spiral section and which is also completed and topic section and this is a little bit footer with the attribution and the credits um, i have made these questions so my linkedin profile and this is about and my github project link uh, the about section contains uh, 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 from my realization i have added some notes like this it helped me to build my foundation more strong to getting ppos and i am practicing this whole 15 modules rigorously and this is a personalized web based, uh, web -based progress tracker on dsa tracker sheet by labdabbar and i have link the original excel sheet also if you want to check it you can go it from here and this is my open source module my github profile you can also start the start the repo if you like it or you have if you want to have any improvements you can also do peer requests and all and in case if you love me and want to follow me you can follow me on linkedin this is my linkedin profile and this is the whole, whole questions and that's it thank you and see you for the next time in the next time